welcome back to another Thoughtful Thursday. Today we're going to work on building a picture of your gymnastics journey. For today's quote, I want you to focus on the outcome and not the obstacle. So we're going to do a little review of your journey in gymnastics so far and we're going to set some goals so you can see how far you've already come. For the first part of your gymnastics journey, you can either use your own sheet and be creative, you could paint, you could collage, you could do anything you like. Or, if like me, art is not your strong point, and you will see that in a second, then by all means use the free template that has been sent out in your gym at home pack. The first thing you want to do is draw a river and a mountain. Now, on your mountain, I want you at the top to pick a big goal. This has to be the goal that sets your heart on fire. It could be anything you like, and it doesn't have to be the same as anyone else. For example, for some gymnasts, your big goal could be to do your first club competition. For another gymnast, maybe it's to reach a certain level. It doesn't matter what your goal is, but make sure it's something personal to you. You're going to put your big goal at the top of the mountain. Then, on the way up, I want you to think of a couple of smaller goals that will help you to achieve your big goal. These will go up the mountain. These are your smaller goals. Now, again, these small goals have to be something that is specific to you. For example, if my big goal was to do a cartwheel on the high beam when I get back to the gym, one of my smaller goals might be to be able to do five in a row on a small beam. And another goal could be to land five in a row on a line with no wobbles. Think of a goal that works for you. Maybe your goal is to get to your level five. So you want to set one of your goals to do an upstart. And another goal may be to learn your round off flip tuck back. It doesn't matter if it's not the same as anyone else's because this is your personal gymnastics journey. Once you've drawn your mountain and you've thought of your big goal, and your smaller goals that are going to help you to get there, I then want you to focus your attention on your river. For the river, we're going to reflect on all the achievements you've had in the sport so far. To do this, I want you to draw some stepping stones. These will go on the river. Now, your stepping stones are going to be your personal achievements. These are the things that you are proud of yourself for achieving in the sport. It doesn't have to be a competition. It could, if you're very proud of a competition result, why not put it on there? Or maybe it's a skill that you had to try extra hard to learn. One that didn't come easy, but you persevered through and then you were able to do it. Or it could even be something to do with your conditioning or your stretching. Maybe you had to work hard to get your right leg splits, but you're really proud that now you can do it. You can also think of the things you've done whilst you've been off gym and at home. For some gymnasts, I know they've really improved their handstand holds, so you could put your handstand hold as a personal achievement. Then I want you to look at these achievements so you can remember all of the attributes you had to do to achieve them. For example, did you have to persevere extra hard to be able to get one of your skills? Remember, this week's task is all about focusing on how far you've already come and looking at the goals that you want to achieve. This week we are going to focus on the outcome and not the obstacle that is currently in front of us whilst we wait to get back into the gym. Have fun with this task, be as creative as you like. Remember, if like me, you're not very good at art, you can use the template that was sent out in the gym at home pack. But if you feel very creative, why not make it your own? Maybe you could paint or use cards, even do a 3D model. I will show an example of some of the other gymnastics journeys people have made following this video. Please remember, we would love to see how you get on with this task. So why not 
draw your own gymnastics journey, take a picture and send it in to us via our Facebook page, Corby Gymnastics Academy. Next week, we are going to add to our gymnastics journey. I hope to see you then. Bye, everyone.